So I think what most people don't understand, and it upsets me, but also it's the one thing I wanna try and show people the best I can, is that right now is your moment. Right now, not an hour from now, not a week from now, not a year from now, but right now can be the moment that changes your life forever. Life, life is like a counter, right? And at some point we have to go up to that counter and they're gonna ask us, what do we want? Life is gonna ask us, what do we want? And we have to make our order. And the, part, the point is we're always next up. You're always next up at the counter. You're always next up to be the one that says and ask life for what it is you want. And if you ask for it, I do believe you will get it or you'll have the opportunity to get what it is that you want. I just wanna help as many people as I can realize that they have the potential to be great because I think society, whether it be family, friends, work, whatever it is, have put so many people down to, to not realize their full potential. Like the, who, the, the, the person walking past you in the hallway might be the person to cure cancer or to be the most successful businessman of all time and because of society or family or whatever, they'll never get there because of so many people are put down a lot of time so many people nowadays have you know self-confidence issues because of society and my thing is i started with all those i had those talking to a camera is not something that is incredibly easy for me to do you know being out in public going up talking to people that's something i had a lot of trouble with and i through this youtube channel through john au have been able to come over that and and really grow and, and hopefully by my example show other people that they too can be incredible and amazing i have pushed the hashtag be creative hashtag on this channel so much for, because I think everything in life, especially in the schooling, is taking creativity out of everything we absolutely do. Everything that is about creativity has, is being squandered. You, you go into math class and there's no creativity, like it's just numbers. And you might be thinking, well, what can you do in math classes that's creative? To me, it's quite simple. You, you, you solve world problems. Guess what? Jimmy didn't buy 50 loaves of bread, but there might be a problem in you know, how do we make this rocket fly? That's something that we could do with math with with science that make things interesting and help grow creativity because i think at the end of the day we're, we're chalked down to numbers and the more we do that the less creative people come and i've said it before if we run out of fossil fuels we can find other ways to make the world turn but we run out of brain power and we're done So I wanna help people be as creative as possible, to chase their dreams, to do as much as they possibly can. And at the end of the day, if I've done that, then I've achieved my personal motto, which is to leave the world a better place than I found it. Because I think at the end of the day, so many people have the potential to live this awesome, incredible life. And for one reason or another, they don't feel like they can, or they don't realize that they can. And if through my experience, through my documentation, through my journey, if I can prove that to them, then I've done my part.
because everything is micro macro, period. Everything that you do leads up to something else. You know, if you're, if you're sitting in school and you're completely bored out of your mind and you don't understand why you have to be in math class, it's very simple. Find the micro goal that math class can teach you to help you achieve your macro. For example, you want to be a successful entrepreneur, that's incredible and you should do so. So what's something that you can learn in math class that's going to teach you to be a successful entrepreneur? The answer to that is very simple. Because a lot of the things people do, and the reason why they fail so much is because they only have their eye on the big goal. Like, oh, I'm going to audition for this, 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 and this, but these giant movies. But if you're not reputable and people right. haven't supported you in the past and you don't have a record, why would you get that over somebody right. else? You're not going to make in a million dollar business your first time around the block. Yeah. you got to pillar up. It's all about success pillaring up. One thing leads to the next, into the next, into the next. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. To be an entrepreneur or any sort of content creator, any sort of successful person, you need to focus. So spend 180 days of math class focusing the hell out of it to grow that micro goal. Leave school being an expert at that micro goal, being an expert at focusing, and then you're one step closer on that pillar to success to achieving your macro goal. All you gotta do is sit down and whether you're at a job you don't wanna work in that you can't leave right now, or in a school that you have to finish, or you're doing something for your family, or whatever it is you, wherever it is you are, whatever situation you're in, figure out what's the micro goal that you can grow right now that's gonna help you achieve the macro. Is it focusing? Is it content creation? Is it being a better person? Is it people skills? Whatever it is, figure out what that is gonna be and focus on that completely. Knock the hell out of that and make it so that whenever you're done and you're out of wherever it is you don't wanna be, you are now an expert at that micro goal and now you're one step closer to the macro. You can change your life right now. I think that's what's been most freeing to me is realizing that you don't have to wait for something to happen. You don't have to wait to grow people, grow followers on social media. You don't have to wait for your parents to approve. You don't have to wait for your friends and family to understand. All you have to do is make sure you understand, make sure you're being smart, strategic, and seize the moment and change your life. I have often said this before and I'll say it again. Success comes overnight, it's just not tomorrow night. Well, that's the awesome part is that right now you have a lot of leverage and that leverage is your time. Because you, I'm, is the, like, I've had that issue in my early entrepreneurial career of, oh, I don't have money, I don't have money, I don't have money. And what I didn't figure out then, but I understand now is no, but I have time. Yeah. So what that means is that success comes all at once. When it hits, it hits hard. And you, you might be working for a year, you might be working for five years, 10 years at your goal. But when it comes, it's gonna come all at once and it's gonna come on strong. How do I know this? Because success comes in many different forms. I think a lot of people get hung up and they think that success is only Lamborghinis. Success is only 900 people companies. Success is only this, that, and the other thing. But in reality, success can be just posting something on Instagram to actually complete an Instagram marketing campaign, to do this, to do that. There are so many things that success can be if we only focus on them and not get, convol not get like blinded by everything else that's going on. So right now can be the moment that changes your life forever. And we still had like 30% of the class fail. The biggest piece of success is taking control of your life. In my opinion, the biggest piece of success is taking control of your life. The minute you do that, the minute you stop letting everyone else get in the way, is the minute you start winning, period. I think the coolest thing that I've learned and experienced in this young entrepreneurial journey is just how many roles you have to play. So entrepreneurship is not a job, it's a, it's a symbol. It's a lifestyle. That's what entrepreneurship is, it's a lifestyle. It's a I understand that in this quote race to the finish, I am not even a hundred meters in to this thing. I still have so far to go. But the deal is I paid attention to people like Gary Vee and Tony Robbins and Stephen Palernos and now they're highly successful entrepreneurs. So my thing is I've run the race. 50 times over because I've watched other people do it. I've studied other people do it. What's going on Instagram? Hope all's going well and I've got some awesome news for you today. What's up Instagram? Hope you're all having a very highly successful day. We're, we're coming at you pretty chill. No fancy editing on this video. You can even see I'm not wearing a hat. Like what's going on here? Still raining. 
of mine that have really affirmed in me my belief of that success, money, fame, everything that you may will desire will just come by pursuing your passion and pursuing what it is you love in life. Entrepreneurship is so much a conglomerate of jobs. You have to be the CEO and the COO and the CFO and the content creator and the curator and the designer and the blogger and the vlogger. You have to be able to do everything. Whatever it is you're good at, whether you want to be a photographer, a video creator, a marketer, whatever it is you want to do, get out there because entrepreneurship has something for you. Creativity has something for you. If you're a good writer, write. If you're a good vlogger, vlog. If you're a good speaker, do a podcast. There's something for everybody out there so that you don't have to feel like you're constricted to doing one thing because entrepreneurship is not a job. It's a it's a symbol. It's a lifestyle. That's what entrepreneurship is. It's a lifestyle. It's a conglomerate of excellent people and excellent activities. So no matter what it is that you are incredible at, it is there for you.